Hello everybody, how are you today? We've got another book today, Jack and the Beanstalk. Now Henry's watching some video over there in the corner, so hopefully it won't disturb the reading. Are you going to come and say hello, Eileen? Jack and the Beanstalk. Deep in the countryside lived a widow and her son, Jack. Their cottage was crumbling and their clothes were patched. They were very, very poor. Here's the widow. That means, unfortunately, her husband has died. And there's Jack with the cow. And there's a scarecrow there. This is called a scarecrow. Hello. How are we doing? Can we bring that chair around? Can we can yeah. sit on that chair. That's all right. One day, Jack's mother said, we must sell our cow. Take her to the market, Jack, and bring home some gold pieces. And so he set off to town. So there's Jack taking the cow to town. Hello, Henry. How are you? You okay? Hello, Wiley. But before Jack had got very far, he met a strange little man. Are you a strange little man, Henry? No. Are you a strange little man, Eileen? No, I'm not even a man. Oh, that's fine. That's a fine cow, the man said. I'll swap you five. Henry, can you count to five? One, two, three, four, five. Very easy. <laughs> I'll swap you five magic beans for her. Magic beans? So, Jack, are they really magic? Magic they are. Or chop off my beard and knit it into a jumper, croaked the little man. Here's the little man. Now he looks like a bit of a pe peddler, doesn't he? Oh, there he is. With his beard. Look how long his beard is. So he's keen for you to take the magic beans. And he's pretty sore they're magic. Otherwise he'd chop off that beard. Now I believe him because that beard's rather long. He wouldn't want to have it chopped off, would he? Magic beans? Jack couldn't wait to tell his mother. He clutched them tightly and ran all the way home. Jack's mother was furious. <laughs> What's your mother like when she's furious, Henry? She's terrible, isn't she? Yeah? What's mummy like when she's angry, Eileen? Tiny. Oh, we need money! Not useless old beans, she cried, and she threw them out of the window in disgust. But late that night, a tiny bean sprout poked out from the ground and then it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and here it is growing oh there's a couple of insects on the bean sprout Henry what type of insect is that a ladybird. a ladybird not a ladybug it's a ladybird remember that you heard it here first you heard it from cousin Henry it's a ladybird the next morning the beanstalk stretched high into the sky. The beans were magic, Jack cried. But what's at the top? Jack climbed up and 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 up. The beanstalk. At last he reached the very top. There, shimmering the sunlight, was... A magnificent castle! Just then, Jack's stomach rumbled. <laughs> I must find some breakfast, he thought. And he tapped on the castle door. Tap, tap, tap. The door cranked open. And a huge giantess smiled down. Hello, Jack. Shouted up. Please, do you have any food? Hello. Oh, sorry, I did that bit wrong. Hello, Jack shouted up. Please, do you have any food? You poor thing, boomed the giantess. Come right in, but quickly, before the giant gets up. So, there he is. He's got to the top of the beanstalk, and there's the beautiful castle. And there's the giantess. Well, you can see her feet. Oh, no, there she is. She's quite friendly, but I wonder if her husband, the giant, is so friendly. What a marvellous feast. There was an enormous big loaf of bread and a gigantic jar of jam. Jack tucked in at once. Here's Jack, stuck in his face. Like but suddenly, the room began to shake. Boom! 
Boom! Boom! Boom! Goodness! cried the giantess. He's coming! And she shoved Jack under a teacup. There's Jack. And she's putting Jack under a teacup there. Look. Wow. Into the room stomped. Boom! 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 A big, ah, scary, hungry um, giant. Fee, fi, fo, fun. I smell the blood of an Englishman, he said. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Don't be silly. There's nobody here but us, the giantess scolded. Now go and wash your hands before breakfast. There's the big ugly giant. <laughs> Jack trembled and shook. I must leave now, he thought. He was halfway down the hall when he heard a <coughs> squawk. It was a hen with bright golden feathers. Help, she clucked. Set me free and I'll lay you golden eggs every morning. Jack scooped up the hen, but then he heard huge footsteps thundering. Boom, boom, boom after them. There's Jack getting ready to go. And there's the hen that lays the golden eggs. I thought it was a goose. I thought it was a goose. Yeah, it was a goose last time. Fee, fi, fo, fum, roared the giant. I smell the blood of an Englishman. And there he is. Jack raced out of the door. He jumped. Look, there's the giant chasing after Jack. And Jack is jumping. And slid down the beanstalk. Down, 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 down. Mother, quick, bring the axe, he shouted. There's Jack sliding down, 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 down. The beanstalk shouting, Mother, bring the axe. Can you see the axe? That's that thing right there for chopping things. How do you spell axe, Eileen? A-X-E. Yeah, A-X-E, not A-X. Hear me? You heard it from Eileen. It's A-X-E, not A-X. Jack's mother swung the axe at the beanstalk. Thwack! 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 It shuddered and shook. And then the giant came down! Lean <laughs> down. Fee fly Crash! And that was the end of the giant. Jack hugged his mother tight. Look what I found, he said. And he showed her the golden hen. Oh, Jack, said his mother. I'm so glad you're safe. And you were right about those magic beans. There's Jack. There's the tree, uh, green beanstalk being chopped down. There's the giant's feet, his boots. And there's Jack and his mother cuddling. So Jack, his mother... And the golden hen all lived happily ever after. And with lots of golden eggs, they were never poor again. Here they are, look. Living the life of luxury. There's quite a few golden eggs there, isn't there? Well, it's a whole conveyor belt of golden eggs. I don't know how golden eggs can float on water, though. Golden egg wouldn't float on that pond, would, on that swimming pool, would they? They'd sink. And there we go. And there's lots of magic so is it be Who do we know called Jack? Um... Young Chan. Young Chan's called Jack, isn't he? Hello, Uncle Young Chan. Hello. 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 Bye bye. We love you. Cheerio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>